Number 13, what is the highest order maximum for 400 nanometer light falling on double slits separated by 25 micrometers? All right, so since we're dealing with a maximum, we're dealing with constructive interference, therefore we need the constructive formula here for a double slit. So this is gonna be the distance between the double slit multiplied then by the sine of the angle, all right, between the slit basically and that M order maximum, all right, and then multiplied by now lambda. So the largest angle that can be obtained, or you would think, so what we have to do is find the highest order maximum, right? So in other words, they're asking us to find the highest value for M. So in order to solve for M, we just divide out the wavelength, all right? Now the thing is, okay, when you have a double slit experiment, it kind of looks something like this, right? You have a little projector here, right? You got some waves traveling through and they deflect on over, okay? The angle here, the largest angle that can be possibly obtained as it comes out, right? Basically the angle is this. It's going to be the angle right in here. The largest angle that can be obtained is, uh, you know, 90 degrees there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in 90 degrees, okay, for the sine of theta. So, and that'll give me the max then M value. So this is going to be the distance between the slits. They told us it was 25 micrometers. So that's just 25 times then 10 to the minus sixth multiplied by sine of 90, which you know is just going to be some value, right? One divided by then the wavelength of 400 nanometers, but we need that a meter. So 400 multiplied by 10 to the minus ninth. Let's see what we come up with. So 25 times 10 to the minus six times then the sine of 90 divide that all by now 400 times 10 to the minus ninth. And look at what we get, 62 and a half, right? 62.5, that's equal to M. So can you have a half of it order? No, no, you cannot have 62 and a half, okay? So now you might say, well, should I round up? Should I round? always round down, okay? because the max is at 62 and a half, but the maximum here, it has they have to be whole integers. So you're always gonna round this answer down, all right? So technically the value should be 62, all right? That would then be the highest order of maximum. Never round up, always round down here. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in, I appreciate it. Help us out by subscribing and liking. We appreciate it, thank you so very, very much.